Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and this video is going to focus on the interface of Atom and some nice little tips and tricks. So let's get going on that right now. So to show off a little bit of the interface here, I figured I would just drag a couple of these files into our Atom editor. And what you're going to see is that if you drag a couple of files in, it actually decides that you want the entire folder that those files are maintained in. And that's actually kind of a great thing because you don't have to drag in the folder itself. You can say, maybe I want this file. And maybe later you want to edit other files and here they all are waiting for you. Now you'll notice when you click a file in the left bar, it immediately opens. So it immediately creates a new tab for it here. Now we can close these on Mac with Command W and Windows on Control W. So we have these files, you'll notice when you select them, the current one, you get a little hover. When you hover over the name, you get a path to where the file is saved, which is nice if you have a couple of files with a similar title, you can see exactly which one you're loading up. Now in addition, we can drag these tabs around to be in any particular order that we would like them to be. Now one cool thing here is if we want to create a new file, you could always right click on your folder and say new file. However, if you just want a new file in the root of the directory, or maybe you want to be able to just save it wherever you'd like in this project, what you can do is double click in this blank space. You now have an untitled new file. When we go to save it, here's the interface that allows you to say, hey, I want this to be in maybe the client folder or something like that. So that's a nice way to quickly and easily create a new file. You can just double click over here. Now in addition, we can actually have multiple panes up at once. So we can come here to view and let's go ahead and select panes. Now we can say either split up, split down, split left or split right. If we split right, you can see that intermediate.js is now open over here on the right. In addition, we can make this as big or as small as we want it to. If you don't want this sidebar here all the time, you can simply just toggle the tree view or the easy way, which is command backslash. If you're on Windows, that should be control backslash. So as you can see, you can quickly and easily hide your project tree if you don't need your files. So we now have a couple of panes here. Let's actually split this once more. We can say view, panes, split down. And you can see once again, we have a new pane. And you can drag any of these tabs into any of these panes. And you can really configure this in any sort of particular way like you would want and split these panes as it works for you. Okay, so what's another easy way that we can traverse our files? Now, if we do Command T, which is something that you probably are very familiar with if you have used Sublime Text. Here we have all of the files in our project. We can say Styles, Enter, and you can see it opens the Styles file. Again, if we were to hit Command T, we're going to enter settings file, index. You can really find anything here that's in your project simply by doing Command or Control T based on what operating system you're on. This is one of the handiest ways you can get around your files using something like Atom. That way your hands never have to leave the keyboard. You don't have to go grab your mouse and click on a file, Command T settings.json, boom, you're in it. Brilliant, so this is the Atom interface. Throughout the course of this series, I'll be giving a little additional tips on interface tips and tricks here, things that you can do like the command T to make your experience a little bit better. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you wanna get instant access to this entire series, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com. This series is available for purchase as an early access to the videos that will be made publicly available week by week. In addition, if you are a Level Up Pro member, you can also have access to stream these videos before they're released as well. So if you want early access to tutorial series in the future, consider signing up for Level Up Pro. Get access to the complete series at once instead of waiting for the episodes to be released. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.